I risk repeating myself this week. On the other hand, I did a workshop a couple of weeks ago for a number of long-standing clients and one of the ladies in the room said to me, uh, I've been with you for 14 years, are you going to tell me anything new? And I answered, no I'm not. I may have learned an awful lot in those 14 years but they really only reinforce what I'd said in the first place, that you need to focus your mind to achieve success. You need to meditate to produce results. I go back to the last video that you may well have watched where I quoted some research in relation to mindfulness and results which said, and I said I'm going to risk repeating myself, intensive meditation brings about mindfulness and mindfulness brings about results. That piece of research took place in the context of what is known in psychological terms as mindfulness based cognitive therapy. It is a kind of therapy that is uh, largely used in the treatment of chronic depression. Now, the interesting thing about it is that even though it is really only being practiced for the last 10 years, research is beginning to mount in terms of the efficacy or the effectiveness of this particular treatment, as I say, in the treatment of chronic depression. And what I mean by that is the research proves that mindfulness-based cognitive therapy is three times more effective than the leading pharmaceutical treatments for chronic depression. It is three times more effective in preventing relapse. And of course, relapse is, relapse is one of the classic symptoms of chronic depression. That's what chronic actually means. It goes on a long time. Now, think about it. We, not, we may not be what a psychologist or a psychiatrist might determine as clinically depressed. But we are not clinically over the moon every day, are we? We are not clinically motivated and single-minded every day. No, we are actually clinically, normally speaking, just going through the motions every day. And although on the scale of euphoria on the one hand and depression on the other hand, we're at neither of those two extremes, we're probably over closer to depression than we are to being, as I say, over the moon every day. We are, in a sense, suffering from chronic depression. Chronic depression to the extent that, as I mentioned in last week's video, we are hardwired not to change. We are hardwired to not do the things that we know would be good for us. And therefore we need to provide therapy for ourselves. Now I should say that mindfulness based cognitive therapy, it's a bit of a mouthful, is based on, believe it or not, meditation. Yes, 21st century psychological science is beginning to embrace the old, age-old techniques that prove that you can actually get into a clear state of mind, a mindful rather than mindless state of mind. And being so mindful, being so focused, you can bring about the things that you actually want to achieve. You can start doing the things that need to be done to lead you towards where you want to go. So what are you going to do about it? I asked this question of a group of people a couple of weeks ago. I said to them, in six weeks time from now, what will you be doing differently than you were doing the day before you actually came to this workshop? And the answers I got were things like, I will be more focused, I will be more attentive, I will listen better. But they are not answers to the question that I asked. The question that I asked was, what will you be doing? So what are you going to do about getting what you want out of life? On the basis that meditation, intensive meditation, brings about mindfulness and mindfulness brings about results, I would have thought the answer is obvious.